In news across California, straws and plastic bags are already blacklisted in California, and now some lawmakers want to add paper receipts to that list. KSBY reporter Asia Gore joins us live in the newsroom with more on the proposed skip the slip law and reaction from San Luis Obispo shoppers. Asia. Well, Kelsey, that's right. This is the receipt I received today buying a bottle of hairspray, just one bottle from CVS. Now some lawmakers and environmentalists are pushing for a transition from paper receipts to email. Just one item I purchased and I even was like, dang, wow, that, that's taken a really long time to print out. After a quick trip to CVS Sunday, Shane Orndoff left with a single item and its four foot long receipt which Orndoff says is destined for the garbage. 99.9% of the time, straight into the trash can. They should just probably email them to you. That's the idea behind a bill urging consumers to skip the slip. The law would force businesses that earn over $1 million a year to switch to cyber receipts to curb waste and impacts to the environment. It takes up to 10 million trees and 21 billion gallons of water in the United States every year to produce these receipts. Democratic Assemblyman Phil Ting sources data from Green America, an environmental group supporting his war on paper receipts. Guess what? They can't be recycled because of the BPA. But shoppers like Don Tomastic aren't on board. You know, a lot of things old school aren't bad. They need to keep some of these. Tomastic says the clerk actually asked her if she wanted an email receipt. She declined. I like paper. I want to see it. I want to cut it. I want to know what I have. I'm visual. Under the proposed law, customers like Tomastic could still request a paper receipt. But opponents argue a move to email receipts increases cybersecurity risks for consumers. And if you want the actual print, print Orndoff suggests a compromise. Rather than skip the slip, perhaps clip the slip. Right here instead of that portion. <laughs> And if the bill is passed, it would take effect in 2022. At that point, any business in violation would face a fine of $25 per day, up to $300 per year. Live in the newsroom, I'm Asia Gore, KSBY News. This one will probably get a lot of people talking. Thank you, Asia. If the bill passes, California would become the first state in the country with an online receipt mandate.